Hi folks, Matt Easton here again. So we're talking about um, close-in techniques with uh, the longsword um, and fairly simple techniques. In fact, there are many complex techniques, but these are simple things. And I really just want to uh, reiterate, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I want to give examples now, um, of how every part of the sword is potentially a weapon, okay? Where well, you've got the pommel, obviously you can strike with in various different ways. You've got cross guard, uh, quillons, which have, you know, um, ends that you can stick into different bits of a person uh, and obviously you've got a blade that you can use in different ways and indeed even the grip of the sword can be used offensively okay so if, if we come to a position whereby you come in very close to a person here clearly I can hit them with the pommel but equally I could hit them with the cross guard into the uh, eye for example or into the throat Equally, if I've come round here and maybe come in close like that with the blade, at this point there's different ways I can use the blade. Obviously I can use it for thrusting, I can't really use it for chopping like I might conventionally do, but I can use it for draw cuts and push cuts with either edge. Okay? So for example, there is a, there's a technique shown in both Fury and Vardy whereby you come in this side, drop the cross guard between the arms there, Okay, reach around your blade there and you pull the blade into the person's neck, uh, putting them essentially into a submission hold with the edge against their neck. And obviously you can cut them if you want to, uh, with a sawing type motion. Um, and lastly, I'll just show an example of how you can actually use the hilt, the, the, the handle of the weapon as well. So if we've come round here, bam, and hit the person uh, in the side of the face with the pommel for example, if you take the pommel over that side of the head, you can now put your arms in a cross position, like a scissors, and grab your own pommel on that side, and by dropping your body weight, you can either break the person's neck, or again put them in a submission hold. So, every part of the sword is potentially a weapon. Obviously the point and the edges, but the cross guard, the handle, and the pommel. Thank you.